Hey everybody, this is Nicole, and this is going to be a vlog of a nice summer morning getting my horses ready for the farrier. So this is the corral where they live on a three acre pasture. And the first thing I'm going to do is catch them and tie them, so then I'm going to groom them. Um, they both catch really, really well, and I love how easy they are to handle. Um, the big horse there, the bay one, is my teenage gelding, and the little blue roan from the beginning is my two year old filly. So I am going to feed them while I groom them. However, I'm just going to feed them one at a time. And I, this was the first time I did this because I had just used the other hangover feeder to put something else in it. So I need another hangover feeder. Um, so Reno's just the only one eating at this time, but I honestly realized that that might be a good thing because it helps the filly learn that not every single time that I have a tub out means that it's time for her to eat. Because I'm definitely trying to control her response to getting food, so she must be calm and straight before she receives food, and she must be um, not overly aggressive in pushing for it or anything like that. And so that's how... Uh, the big horse is eating off to the side and you can see here if I'm engaging with her She's pretty calm and even when I wasn't engaging with her. She was relatively calm So this is my routine grooming So I do a rubber curry all over the body all the way down to the coronet band outside of where those fly boots were and then I will take a soft brush and flick off any of the dirt and hair that I lifted up, but I mostly do the currying because I'm trying to introduce some blood circulation and it gives me a good reason to kind of do like a once over their entire body to see if there's any funguses, wounds, things like that, any tender places, that sort of thing. Um, so I do brush their tails definitely before the farrier comes, so hopefully the tail is less painful if it goes to hit the farrier. Um, her tail is really short and thick and pretty much impossible to tie into a knot versus my other horse's tail I can tie into a knot much more easily. Um, she has a really long mane which I'm super happy about. She's only uh, like two and three months and I really have no idea how long this has got or how this has gotten this long but I'm happy with it. I don't groom them every day but probably about every other day. And I'm always cautious whenever I go to groom the forelock here to not surprise them. And look how cute she is. Now I am taking my um, bristle brush and just flicking off the hair that I worked up with the curry comb. And I'm doing that all over the body. We are not grooming to participate in any sort of showing activity. This is just grooming for cleanliness and... Um, blood circulation so I go over her whole body with that too now I'm going to pick her feet to prepare for the farrier um, it's really important to me that my horses learn how to give me their feet not just make me pull them out and then she stretches every single time you pick up behind feet and you'll still see there's some moments where she loses her balance a little bit and she's getting better with that but it's definitely just something she is learning about I did the other side too but I wasn't able to film it and then this is Reno getting his feet done. God bless Livia. She is <laughs> trimming my horse's feet outside and then she, we weren't too happy with him. He, he threw her rasp away, but it's okay. Um, but both horses got trimmed this way. You can see Harley eating in the background now because now it's her turn. And there was a nice flat spot here in the corral where they were able to get trimmed and look how peaceful he looks. He was just like feeling good. So there's Reno's feet and there's Harley's feet looking absolutely fly. And now I'm going to turn them loose and let them go. And of course I walked out of frame. I mean, this is what happens when you film yourself all the time, but then at least you can see me sort of release Harley here. So I untie my knot, ask for softness, draw her towards me and back up and draw her in even further. See how she took more steps towards me instead of just bolting away. Then she wanted to get a drink out of the new water trough and there's a huge puddle because my previous water trough had a hole in it so it leaked and uh but the valve was running here so it was making a lot of noise but it's super cool to see her just kind of overcome it a little bit she was a little curious a little bit afraid but the desire to drink was higher so she managed to get herself a drink and so that is what a normal session getting my two horses trimmed looks like. Here I am making sure they go out to pasture and Harley's gotta check everything out and now they're just gonna graze and be happy and be very, very cute.